This is a wicket. They measure them from the shoulder to the floor, specially made because they don't make them this short. Um, and it, this is what Guinness said we had to use. You can't use a ruler. Meet Sai. He's a breed known as a munchkin cat and now is officially the shortest cat in the world. He looks like he's crouching down, but that's just his normal height. Yep. And that height is 13.6 centimeters or 5.35 inches. A new Guinness World Record. Hi, Edmonton International Cat Festival. My name is Sarah and this is my cat, Sai. He just broke the Guinness World Record for being the shortest wow. cat in the world. Wow. <laughs> and you have a dog, apparently. <laughs> I do, I have a dog. <laughs> um, so can you kind of give me sort of a history of Sai? So how old, uh, talk about sort of that record. Um, how short is Sai? <laughs> Well, hi, Sai is three years old. Uh, he is a munchkin breed, which is a type of genetic mutation uh, that happens at, uh, naturally. We got him actually, I've had him since birth. Uh, we actually breed them. Uh, uh, we do it as, as a, a hobby, right? So uh, we hobby breed these guys. We only have two litters of and He's actually one of our kittens uh, that we bred. Uh, he has one eye. If you notice, yes. a lot of people ask about his one eye. Uh, what happened with him is a lady came in to see our kittens and the mom felt intimidated by the lady. So she tried to pick him up and take him away. Uh, but she accidentally grabbed him by his eye. Oh, no. So he, it, was, it, was a little, it was a little bit of an accident, yes. But as you can see, he's, he's still very healthy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and with the Guinness World Record, we decided to break that. Uh, one day we were actually just sitting here very bored. Uh, one of my friends was here, and he said that uh, Sai looked to be the shortest cat he'd ever seen. So out of curiosity, we looked up on Google what the shortest cat in the world was, yeah. uh, which was a cat named Fizz Girl. Uh, but she, uh, she, Sai was shorter than her. Sai <laughs> uh, is 13.5 centimeters from shoulder to floor. Wow. So not very big at all. No, and kind of the comparison is that is that cup, right? The coffee cup sort of really shows. Oh, yeah, it's like the coffee cup. <laughs> Even the coffee cup, this is a, a large, Timberland. and uh, it's taller than him. And that's yes. so Sai is standing fully right now, is that? Right now he's yeah. standing fully. Yeah, I can maybe even get him to do his munchkin stand for you if you'd like. <laughs> Yeah, I read uh, in an article when he does that stand, he's kind of like a prairie dog or like a <laughs> really cute. Oh, yes, he, he is. And he does it a lot. But for some reason, lately, every time I want him to do it, he won't. <laughs> no, no, no. He's like, Mom, I'm too famous for this. <laughs> no. Oh, he's soaking it up. He loves it. <laughs> so how has that sort of changed? So after you got the title, um, Sai and yourself, you got quite a bit of media coverage. So has life been different for Sai and yourself? Um, it has been actually quite different. Uh, right now, we've kind of had to be put on a hold because we're working with Barcroft Media to make a, a video about Sai. Okay. And so until that's done, everything's kind of been put on a standby. Um, but there is still a lot of people contacting us on a daily basis. And they all tell us themselves that it's not his short legs that they're interested in. It's his beautiful personality. Yeah. He walks into a strange place and he takes it over. He's the boss. He loves everybody. Um, <laughs> No mean bones in him at all. Can, can you kind of talk about how sort of um, Sai fits into this whole crazy cat popularity internet culture? <laughs> well, he, I, I find he fits into it because of his short little legs. Not a lot of people know what they are. I've ever seen a cat with short little legs. So to them, he's, he's very funny. Like with... Um, with him, he's been compared to a wiener cat, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. And they're right. He does look like a wiener dog. Yeah. Or an Ewok cross with a, something else, with a gremlin, we've been told. He's before. Like, <laughs> kind of like a Dachshund dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and a lot of, like, I'm, I'm used to them. I grew up with munchkin cats, so I've always known what they are. But everybody else, they usually, right away, they don't know what they are. They think we cut their legs off sometimes, which is kind of crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, it's just they're naturally like that. It's 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 part of that breed, right? Just yes. Because In terms of uh, you were talking about, you know, his his personality. Can you talk a little bit more about sort of what makes Sai uh, unique and special? Uh, what makes him unique and special uh, is obviously his one eye. It gives him a lot of character, and if you notice, he does have a little curve in his ear, which makes it even him even cuter. Um, he's got a very loving personality. He always wants to be in your face, being patted and cuddled and. He likes to play. He loves to pick on the littler kittens because they're the only ones he can take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, he's very good with my kids. I have two children, and he, he's my kids love him. He, he plays with them. They, they, they pet each other. He can't sleep alone. He always sleeps curled up with me. Oh, he's, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what do you think about, uh, just in general from your perspective, sort of how cats appear to be so popular nowadays? It feels like, you know, everyone is crazy about cats. The internet loves cats. Um, why do you think that is? Or, or what do you think? Uh, is that a good thing? People should get sort of on the cat bandwagon? <laughs> um, I do agree that um, the cats is getting bigger, mostly, too, because of the other cats you see on the internet. Everybody wants to be like them and have yeah. a cat that gets famous is same with my cat a lot of people want the munchkin now because they want to break the record but uh, one thing with cats though it is a it is a full-time life commitment yeah. so if you choose that you want a cat you should make sure that you actually do because it's not like you can get your cat and then give him away a week later because you don't like him and then this poor cat ends up in the shelter mm -hmm. or even worse not around anymore right so if you are going to get a cat make sure it is a lifetime commitment that you want to be with him um i find that people want cats more now because they're 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 like people they're like children it's the same as dogs they they care to you they're they're very loving you like you know they give you happiness yeah they bring smiles to your day absolutely and you can tell he really loves you <laughs> oh he does he loves me he's just a suck but Sai was very sick so he spent uh, six months in mine in my mother's hands Right, my mother helped me nurse him back together. He wasn't actually supposed to live. Uh, he's in miracles. So. He did go through a lot when he was young. Yeah. Um, like I said, he was in his eye and his ear. It was a lot for him, and we nursed him back to health. But he has got a clean bill of health. He's one hundred percent healthy awesome. and very lovable. <laughs> what kind of uh, things does Sai like to do? Like, if you if he had hobbies, what would they be? <laughs> He had hobbies. I think he his hobby would just be delays at the beach. To be honest, um, he's not he he doesn't like to uh, chase mice or any of that. He's mm -hmm. very lazy and laid back. Mm -hmm. um, so I think he I think he'd be a, a laid back on the beach or watch playing watching TV. Yeah, yeah, kind of cat. But he likes the walks, like being walked, sort of like a dog. He likes that. Yes, he does. He does like it, but he likes to, he's like he's not like a dog where he walks with me. He wants mm. me to go where he wants to go. Oh, so he's but leading you, yeah. It's usually to his fans who all come up to him. He gets recognized everywhere he goes. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Has that been weird? Like, do you have sort of a weird or crazy kind of memory or experience of kind of him being spotted or anything like that that came with the fame? <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, I was at Victoria Park taking pictures with him, which is a park here in Kitchener, and a, a bunch of uh, people dressing gothic clothing came up and were going nuts over him, which was very, it was very strange. <laughs> it was cool, but very yeah. strange. I didn't think I'd see them all over the kitties, but they had fangs just like him. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what do you think are the next steps for Sai, or, or how can people expect to interact with him or see him sort of in the future? Well, we're hoping that we're, we're, we're going to hope to um, start setting booths up at uh, places so that people can come and visit him and see him and, and meet him because he just loves his fans and um, maybe birthday parties. We don't really, we're, we're really not sure yet, but we'd like to get him out there because we've been getting so many emails. Everybody wants to know, like everybody wants to meet Sai. Yeah. <laughs>